What kind of video camera should I buy? You know, I get that question all the time. Most recently from Jana from Brooklyn. I've got some opinions on this. Stay tuned to hear the answers on the PhotoWalks channel. Hey everyone, I'm Jefferson Graham. I'm a lifelong photographer, writer, and video maker. This is the PhotoWalks channel where I try to take you to great places in the Southern California area to show you the best spots for photos, how, when, and where to take them. And in this episode, no traveling, we're just geeking out, talking cameras. Before we go any further, do yourself a favor, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get the latest updates from our visits. So, you know, I started off making videos on things like this, camcorder, traditional camcorders, which were great at the time. They had really nice long lenses and they let you photograph for a long time. The downside was low resolution. These have tiny image sensors, smaller even than what you find on one of these. So my recommendation actually is skip the camcorder altogether. We all have these smartphones in our pocket, use them. They've gotten so good. Why go out, if you're new to this form, why go out and spend a lot of money on cameras when you can shoot 4K resolution on your smartphone and there are so many great accessories for the smartphone that make vlogging on a smartphone a joy. Speaking of accessories, you're gonna need a tripod mount for your smartphone, try as you might, you cannot hold the camera steady for longer than a minute. You will need this and it's gonna do wonders for you when you make your time lapses. Take a look at some of the time lapses that I do on the iPhone. I think they're pretty awesome. If you are going to be talking into the camera like I'm doing right now, I really like this Smart Lab mic from Rode. Works really well. Make sure to get the extension cord because you will need it. If you are doing man and woman in the street interviews or talking to a microphone like this or having a guest on that you need to go back and forth, I really like the iRig mic. It snaps right into the lightning port on the iPhone. So this will really do wonders. This is $100. The lav mic was about 80 bucks. So when we're shooting video on the smartphone, please shoot horizontally like this because when you shoot like this, you're losing half of your image with black bars. Now, if you're shooting just for Instagram and Snapchat, fine, you can shoot vertical. But if you're going for YouTube, this is gonna look a lot better. Once you get your feet wet shooting your videos on the smartphone, then you can graduate to a DSLR or mirrorless camera for higher resolution, great lenses. I will say that the newbies will have to fuddle with exposure control and camera shake because they're a lot heavier. Uh, so learn on the smartphone first. So which smartphone to use? I like any of the current crop of iPhones, Galaxies, Google Pixels. Anything that shoots in 4K is gonna look way better than the camcorder from years ago. Have questions about shooting video, cameras to buy, anything that we've talked about here on today's video, please leave a comment below. Look for me on Twitter where I'm at Jefferson Graham. Please subscribe to Photo Walks. Remember this weekend, we've got the road trip going on. Second stop, Huntington Beach, Surf City after Seal Beach. Stay tuned, I hope you watch. Jefferson Graham for the Photo Walks. <laughs>